What's up, y'all? This this she she will sessions with she episode six. Yeah, I was about to say five. <laughs> episode six. You know what I'm saying we're gonna be interviewing my man. You know I'm saying my homie from back home, Keon Brodus. All right. So, how did you come out here? I came out here with track. Like like what year? Our year. Sixteen. Sixteen. I was still seventeen, bro. That seven. That summer or what? That summer. I came out here. I think July twenty. 7th or July 28th of 2016. Uh-huh. Damn. Like, hold on, bro. This shit was crazy. 2016, you said? Like, yeah. Like, cause straight, was, fresh out of high school. That's when I was at shit. Fre- I went yeah. to shit. You went straight to... Yeah, everybody, everybody, everybody was like... Schools. Everybody was like, let me go set up early. Make sure I'm cool, so, and then I might come back. you went out of state, though. Like, how exactly. was that feeling? I'm not how coming was that feeling? Like, 100% I was like, I'm the shit. I'm the shit. The first three days, I was like, yeah, I'm the shit. After that, I was like, Yo, I'm s- bored. Just take I'm drink. bored. And then I was like, all right. Who you come out here with, though? Me. Just by yourself? It was just me. Like, because um, it was going to be me and Martin. But then his plan fucked up where he was going to come out. So, like, so when you came out this jump, where you were going to college? You was living on campus? No. I got it. I had to get a room. A room? Mm-hmm. My apartment? They wasn't paying for that shit? My mom was. Damn, shout out to mom. Would you have to get a loan? If you didn't? Like, oh, yeah. could you get a loan for that room? For, room, for that room? No. I, well, you I got a loan, freshman, but... I thought you had to live on campus freshman. No, not... That school was a junior college. Okay, so you was running track, dude. Yeah. It was like going to Monco. I was with a track team. Okay. So you was just... Okay. That's lit, though. And then... So you had... Like you were 17 years old, and you was where, ready to move to Cali huh? by yourself. Yeah. And it was like a good one because the coach was like, the coach was a former Olympian, so she was tied into any fucking big college, basically. Like, so either way, if I'm fast enough and promote myself enough, then she going to show me to anybody. That's how I took that shit. And I was like, 100% coming out of high school, I was an animal. Like, everybody, everybody was catching the works. I didn't care who it was. Like, if you saw any of my videos, anybody was catching works. So what you was doing in college, you, you doing good? Or what? I was doing the same thing. Straight up, straight off the rip. Straight okay. off the rip. So then that's when I went to her husband. And her husband was Virgil Hill. And that nigga... Who's that? A former boxer. I'm not even going to say that was. Because I'll go back to him any day. Any okay. day. All right. That man is the shit. 100%. Personality, that man See, is the shit. Him, so then we- she was a former Olympian, and he was also. They met there. Damn. He got silver, she got silver. That's lit. It was. I was like, that is lit. And I think she got gold. I love both of them. 100%. Both of them were like parents to me out here. But she wasn't training, right? No, like her training just wasn't hard to me. It wasn't. Okay, so like I just. So it was like you stop playing or you stop running or. No, I would run. I do it. I just be like, coach, I'm not tired. All the mother boys back there mm-hmm. can't breathe and shit, and I'm like, I'm talking like this to you right now, coach. Like I'm not tired. I need some extra shit. She's like, no, like you don't need to be tired every day. I'm like, coach, I'm never tired though. So, that's a problem. So right? she pitched you. So then what she did? She pitched you with the hard jump. No, that's when after that, that's when I, when I said that shit to her. That's when she sent me to the other coach. And then wish you couldn't do that shit. And then no, I was like, I'm not doing the other shit. I'm going back to her. I'm gonna just do her shit. And then going into the season, I ran my first race. Hundred percent. I was like, I got out hard. Caught ball super fast. I was like, this is gonna be an easy race. So I just cruised. Kick, won the race, easy race. You won that one? Shit was easy. <laughs> Nigga, I waited literally until the last hundred and ran right by everybody. Everybody came on the line at the same time, I was gone. I had like a, at least a five meter gap on everybody by the <laughs> end of that race. I was fucking gone by that last five. Like, that's how that shit was. Every time. I did that just to play around. 
if it's gonna be a hard race, then then I'm gonna actually try. So, but outside of so that, I'm gonna fuck start, around with why everybody. You start running then? I didn't. This what happened. Because you run, you was killing shit then. Yeah. And then we had a super fast hundred meter runner, and me personally, I will never use blocks. I would just literally get down in the start, and then get out, mm -hmm. and that's how I did it every single time. So me using blocks was never a thing. But the 100 meter runner, he knew how to use blocks. And she wanted me to use blocks. And I was like, I'm not comfortable with it. I'm cool. She was like, I stay still gonna make you use it. Like, you're gonna have to get comfortable. I'm like, coach, it's not gonna happen. As soon as I started using them bitches, I was like, I'm cool off the first few of them. Then she had me go for a uh, get out one time with him. Mm -hmm. And I pulled my hamstring. Damn. I was out for like. That's strong. Exactly. I was out for probably a month and a half. Because okay. I forced that shit back. I was like, fuck that. You I'm forced going it back. back. Yeah. I wore a brace at States. Because mm. I wanted to run. I was like, fuck that. I ain't tell her what was hurting, but I wanted to run. <laughs> Crazy. And I didn't use blocks. I told them I never used blocks in my life, and I pulled my hamstring the first time I did it, so I'm not doing it again. Mm -hmm. And they let me. And I was like, bet. I love them niggas' ass states. They let me go. Oh, so. so then, with the standing start, I ran a 48. The fastest on the entire relay, and all them niggas fucked up. I handed it off in third. Other niggas ran 46 and a 45. And then after that, that was the end of that. What you run? Them niggas, I ran 48. Okay. They ran 46, 45. I don't know what the fuck that is. That's like D1. Okay. D1 college. Um, 48 is like. 48 is D2, D3. Okay. But I'm injured also. Okay. Like, I knew what I could have ran if I wasn't. So that's what's pissing me off also. <laughs> like, so then <laughs> summer came, and I was like, all right, bet. Coach Virgil, I want to do boxing. <laughs> I'm on it. Started boxing with him. So you stopped doing... Uh... I, stopped, I stopped track for a little bit. I started boxing. But hold on. Virgil so wait, did you, like... did you... Oh, let's go back to track. Did you, like... Hold on. Did you love die for it? No, I'm still... No, this is what happened. I still did track. So with Virgil, what I did with him, I was like, Virgil, I want to do boxing. And he was like, all right, but you got to come in the morning because you still got to run with me. Instead of running with Coach, you'll run with me. And you're on with Malaya now. Sexy-ass boxing. Um, Coach Virgil would be like, we're going to come out and run with her, Frankie. Frankie was a good-ass boxer, too. I like Frankie. He just talked too much. So what year was this when you started boxing? Um, 2017. Or, yeah, 2017. Because I started working also. So that was the interview for me, with me and Keon. And we never got to finish the full interview. I think my phone cut off or died or something. Something happened that we didn't get to finish the interview. And it's to ask him about what happened after that and all that. Um, right now, I think he has a pause on college right now. Um, like I said, I'm not hundred percent sure, but I do know that he's working right now. He got an apartment with two other roommates. Actually, one of the roommates I went to school with as well. So, the guy Martin, the guy Martin that he brought up, Martin actually eventually did come out here. Um, so they actually got an apartment and all that. They're doing their thing. They're grinding. You know, they showed love when I came down here. So I wanted to get an interview with Keon. <clears throat> I do appreciate um Keon taking the time out to. Actually had his interview with me, you know. And they did help me out a little bit, you feel me? They always look out with the weed. You know, they always, you know what I'm saying? They show love with food. They, they do their thing, you feel me? They show love. But yeah, that was the interview with me and Keon. Um, I'm going to have some more interviews coming out soon. And another podcast dropping soon. So, appreciate y'all listening. Follow me on all the socials. And stay tuned. This session's with She, episode 6. And I'm out this jump.